The U.S. Air Force released pictures showing new pallet loads of small arms ammunition along with grenade launchers inside a Boeing 747 after it arrived at Boresville International Airport. Twitter user at Thelema underscore boy underscore was one of the first to draw attention to the identification code NSN 1010-01-490-9697 which can be seen on one of the black pallets. According to the NATO Multilingual Supply Classification Handbook and Item Name Directory ACOD P2, which has also been introduced in the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine under the name Common Classifier of Supplies NSN code 1010-01-490-9697 corresponds to a supply item as Machine Gun 40 mm MK-19 Mod 3 or in Ukrainian 40 mm automatic grenade launcher Mark 19 Mod 3. As per the number of black pallets in the released photos, it can be ascertained that on January 28th, several hundred MK-19 grenade launchers were delivered to Ukraine. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Mark 19 Mod 3 grenade launcher could spell doom for Russian forces. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. As a Russian invasion of Ukraine looks imminent, US and NATO are racing to provide as much defense armament as possible. Earlier, the US has sent Javelin, anti-tank guided missile, and the M141 bunker defeat munition. UK has sent MBT law. Even smaller countries like Estonia have pledged to provide Javelin anti-armor missiles while Lithuania and Latvia will provide Stinger anti-aircraft missiles and adjacent equipment. These kind of weapons don't need a lot of training to use, are very hard to take out with preemptive strikes, and can inflict significant damage on Russian forces. The idea is to make Ukraine a very difficult country to invade and potentially stop Russia from taking any military action due to possible losses it could suffer. The Mark 19 was originally designed in 1966. It replaced the earlier Mark 18 hand-cranked multiple grenade launcher. The Mod 3 variant was adopted by the U.S. Army in 1983 and remains in service to the present day. The reliable and portable grenade weapon system is suitable for light infantry vehicles and tripod applications. The Mark 19 Mod 3 is an air-cooled, blowback-operated, belt-fed, automatic weapon that fires several types of 40 mm grenades from ground mounts and vehicles. The U.S. Army currently uses the Mark 19 within the tactical environment for defense, retrograde, patrolling, rear area security, urban operations, and special operations. Mark 19 fires 40 mm grenades at a cyclic rate of 325 to 375 rounds per minute, giving it a practical rate of fire of 60 rounds per minute rapid, 
and 40 rounds per minute sustained. The weapon operates on the blowback principle, which uses the chamber pressure from each fired round to load and recock the weapon. The Mark 19 can launch its grenade at a maximum distance of 2,212 meters or 2,419 yards, although its effective range to a point target is 1,500 meters or 1,600 yards. The primary ammunition for it is the high explosive dual purpose M430 grenade. On impact, the grenade can kill anyone within a radius of 5 meters and wound them within a radius of 15 meters. It can also punch through 2 inches or 5.1 centimeters of rolled homogeneous armor with a direct hit, zero debris obliquity, which means it can penetrate most infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers. It's especially effective when used against enemy infantry formations. The ammunition comes in cans that hold a 32 or 48 grenade belt weighing 42 and 60 pounds, 19 and 27 kilograms, respectively. Due to its low recoil and comparatively light weight, it's been adapted for use on many different platforms, including small attack boats, fast attack vehicles such as the Humvee, AAV, and Striker military jeeps, and a large variety of naval mounts. U.S. President Joe Biden said Sunday he would not speculate on further steps his administration is willing to take amid ongoing tensions with Russia over Ukraine. As he returned to the White House, Biden told reporters Russian President Vladimir Putin was seeking things he cannot get from ongoing diplomatic efforts to resolve the crisis. This indicates that a conflict may not be avoidable and the best way forward for the West is to put up a united front. President Putin said at a press conference following the Russian-French talks, NATO member countries continue to pump up Ukraine with modern types of weapons, allocate significant financial resources for the modernization of the Ukrainian army. They send military specialists and instructors, indicating that there are concerns in Russia regarding this. While there is no reason to believe that Russia will not ultimately prevail in a one-on-one -on -one military conflict with Ukraine, the cost is getting higher every day. Mark 19 Mod 3 grenade launcher is a kind of weapon that could inflict serious casualties on the Russian side. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.